Well, welcome to day one, uh, part one of DIY irrigation system. So here I'm just getting things started where I'm digging up where the manifold and the irrigation box um, are gonna go. I have all the irrigation lines already run and you can see them uh, there at the front of the screen. A um, Couple things to note, uh, tools are, are pretty critical. Um, at this part, so having a good shovel or two um, is good. I have uh, the round point and then I have uh, that longer spade uh, for digging down deeper and busting up rocks. I've got that pickaxe, uh, which really came in handy for, again, just getting down in there. Um, also a wheelbarrow. I have the gorilla cart. Can't say enough about how great that tool is and how, um, how much I, I use it. Um, so the, the important thing here that I'm trying to accomplish uh, the first day out of the gates is just getting the box down to the right depth and uh, from there I can kind of work um, around uh, getting all the lines kind of um, organized and, and ready to be brought into uh, the box and, and so that's basically what I'm working on is just kind of getting it as level as possible. This is day two and here I'm just trenching out the line over to the faucet where I'm going to tie in temporarily uh, to provide water to the manifold. Um, I'm expecting to, to have a lot more water pressure. Again, same tools, um, pretty much uh, uh, just trying to get the, the trench down uh, to the level that'll um, allow the lines to come in. Um, uh, so there's, uh, again, keeping that box level. Uh, and then here I'm just opening it up so I can actually um, get the manifold to, to, and box to sit in there properly. And this is an extra oversized box and I need to uh, make sure that I have um, uh, the, uh, the line, uh, enough room for the lines to tie in there. Um, not a bad idea. What I did here is just trying to dry fit everything to kind of test out where, where everything was going to sit and how it would sit just so I can kind of get those little micro adjustments that need to be done. Um, uh, for the, the rest of the setup here. All right, well, I teased it a while back that we were going to be doing some updates to the irrigation system. So this is my DIY fix until I can tie into the main, which will probably be next year. I've done a lot of house repairs this year and I just don't want to do it myself I'd rather pay somebody uh, a professional to tie into the main so man, my hat is totally jacked up all right whatever we'll just deal with it yeah it is what it is got to cover the ears up anyway so here's what we got going on so I went to a six manifold orbit system and I'm tying into the poly that I already have run out and have been using off of a uh, manifold that just ties into the actual sprinkler head itself. So what I'm doing to pick up a little bit better flow is going straight from this manifold out um, which is going to give me half inch um, into three quarter um, which was easier to tie into the orbit um, and then just burying that line in and then tying it in to the manifold down here which will now run my irrigation and I don't have to worry about batteries and all that good stuff. I'll be running off that Beehive outdoor um, con uh, wireless controller. So it's uh, it's definitely a lot of work, um, but it's definitely gonna be a lot well worth it. I'll pick up a lot more water flow versus going through some of the manifolds and how the uh, old system I, I use worked. So I'm hoping that I'll have to maybe run my zones a little less um, because I'll have better water flow and uh, I'll get wireless capabilities which will be great um, especially if you know traveling and, and whatnot so I've got it got it buried I've just got to tie in the poly uh, bring in the power cable or well the, the power to the uh, manifold and I'll be pretty good to go. So, still got quite a bit, but uh, nonetheless, getting it done. Beautiful day to be in the lawn. So to be clear, this is not a one day project. And uh, 
This took me several days to to work, probably four or five hours um, each time I came out and actually worked on it. Well, saying that, I can't do this all in one video, um, and I've never done two-part series before, and so I'm going to have to wrap up the first part of this uh, series now, and I will put the, the second part of the series out later this week. So um, I don't know what day. Um, I'll try to shoot for Thursday. That seems to be a pretty good day. And uh, get you guys the, the update on the wrap up of, um, of the installation, uh, which will cover more of, you know, installing the PVC and um, getting the wiring and everything completed. Um, the one thing I didn't show in, in the footage that I captured, let me flip the camera around. This box, I never showed an inside shot of it afterwards. So we had rain last night. That's why there's water in there. But um, so everything is wired up. I just didn't have a photo of that. And so I just wanted you guys to see um, pretty simple. Those wire connectors are waterproof wire connectors. So uh, pretty easy. Uh, I've got six zones uh, that are wired up. Um, and uh, the box is all mounted so um, just wanted to show that again sorry for the part first series of this and uh, but I figured for nobody really showed me how to do it I figured I'd take you guys through the whole process of me doing it and hopefully you'll find it helpful um, so stay tuned for the next part of uh, the irrigation installation and uh, we'll see you soon See you in the long.